Hi, Rob here. I uh, just want to do a quick video uh, regarding these. Uh, these are Crayola Twistable uh, Crayons and I just want to do a quick video of how they look uh, and how they work regards to highlighting in a Bible. I found these to be the easiest and best way of highlighting in, in, in quite a few different Bibles. And I just want to show you what they look like. Um, they're relatively cheap. You can buy them from most supermarkets. They tend to be in the, the children's section. Uh, I think they're around about £3 for a pack of 12. Uh, they last for ages. And they're really easy to use. I'll just show you what they look like when out of the packet. They're in common plastic like a retractable pencil type uh, thing so basically you just twist the end hence the name and the, the the crayon comes out they're not strictly a crayon they are more a I would say sort of a cross between a crayon and a coloured pencil uh, Crayola do, do do twistable pencils but I don't find them as good for Bible marking. Use the crayons, they're a lot better. Uh, they're good in the fact that they, because they're sort of not quite a a crayon, they don't tend to to transfer from one page to another. So when you close your Bible, some crayons, which I've used in some Bibles in the past, tend to stick to the opposite page, if it's warm especially because of the wax content of the crayon. But these are really good, and I've been using them in this Bible for a while. This is my uh, Concord uh, Wide Margin uh, KJV Reference Bible from uh, in uh, goat skin leather, and I've been using them for a while. I'll show you a few bits and bobs, and I'll hopefully you'll be able to pick up this. I'll go to a page where there's quite a lot of um, of note taking. This is in. Romans. I'll just lift this up to the camera, see if you can see it a wee bit better. Is that picking up there while we've focused in? So we've got that there. You can see they're coming very different because they're quite subtle. And the great thing about them is that they don't bleed through or, or show through to another page. And let me just show you what's on the back of this, this page here. So just there which would be around about here in this Bible, but you cannot see anything coming through from the other side. Uh, certainly not with the naked eye, and the camera tends to pick up a wee bit more than the naked eye, but you cannot see anything there. You can see the Pigma Microns, which have sort of shown through from the other side on this paper. Now this is thick paper, but I've tried them in other Bibles as well, and they are really good. As you can see there I've marked quite a a few bits and bobs on that side and again so that would be in the top corner there and again you can't really see uh, any show through and they certainly haven't sort of smeared across to the other page. Now, I'm not sure how that would work in, in, a, in a warmer climate but certainly here in Scotland uh, we don't get that much warm weather so uh, so they've never had a problem. But like I say, I've been using these for about three years now and they are great. They, they look good. The only thing I found with them is if the, you do mark, uh, if you do mark on your Bible with them, uh, it's hard to write with any pens on top. Pigma Microns will do it, but it, you, and it does stay on, but they leave a very, very faint line. And uh, yes, uh, you have to be careful with that. But uh, the another, maybe another thing is, I don't know whether it will show up here, but in certain lights, uh, it does tend to sort of reflect the light because of the wax content. But that is really, really minimal. But I can certainly recommend uh, these for Bible highlighting. Uh, like I say, they are they are really, really cheap. They are really, really cost effective. And like I said, I think I've still got a pack that I bought three years ago. So they still haven't run out. And 
I say, go ahead, um, uh, have a go with these things and, and see how you go with them, but do test them before you use them in the premium Bible. Uh, you might not like the effect that you get, but certainly I, I, I quite like uh, I quite like them. Uh, there are some colours in there that I probably wouldn't use, and I haven't used as yet, so the brown and the black, the flesh colour, but the other the other 10 you would probably use, uh, and I have done in the past. But yeah, they're really good, uh, and I can recommend them, uh, you know, for, for Bible highlighting. Along with your Pigma Micron pens, uh, they, they're a good combination. And like I say, I've looked at, I've tried many uh, highlighters in the past, and they all, I've found that most of them, all show through and uh, they can be very expensive if you're buying the the dedicated Bible highlighters but these are a good cheap budget uh, alternative and they work really well so I hope that's been of some use to you uh, God bless you and I'll see you again with another video very soon